Hey, it's SJ. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Jane. Welcome if you're new here. I do lifestyle and vlog videos here on YouTube. And today we're going to be going over my January favorites. I haven't done one of these videos in a long time, but honestly, I have so many favorites right now. It is such a called for video. Um, most of these items are going to be beauty and tech related. Um, I do have a couple clothing items as well, but... I hope you guys are excited because I am. If you don't already, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Uh, I post on both my photography account and my personal account. So be sure to follow both of those and let's go ahead and get started. First, we're gonna start with beauty items and I wanna start with the night cream that I've been using. I have been using the Olay Total Effects 7-in-1 Night Firming Cream. I am a big fan of this night cream. So <clears throat> I'm 28, seven, I'm 28 years old and I'm 28 years old. All right, so that took a minute. Woo. I have always been one of those people that have had a skincare routine. If you guys have been following me on this channel, you would know that. But I don't always use the most high-end products, but I do feel like night cream is one of those items that you should eventually start splurging on because you know, wrinkles and all that good stuff and making sure you have even skin tone. Um, so, I have been using the ponds for so long, my skin was so dry, and I just feel like my skin, I wanna take better care of it, so I switched the Olay Total Effects. I think this retails for around $20. Um, I got mine at Target. Big fan though, it smells nice, it feels so creamy and good on my skin. I'm definitely gonna be purchasing this again. Um, next, I have the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Pair Eye Concentrate Mix. This is expensive. I definitely got this as a birthday gift from one of my best friends and um, thank you for that. But this is definitely an expensive product. I do really, really like it and enjoy it though. When you open it up, it just has like this little stick and you dab it underneath your eyes. I find that this really does brighten up my under eyes. It just makes me feel so awake. So if you are looking for a good under eye like potion or mix, like I highly recommend this. Once again, it is a little pricey, but I totally do think it's worth it. Next, I wanna talk about my favorite nail polishes. So I am really into neutral colors and I found the perfect nude for me. Um, so first, both of these colors are from the Sally Hansen Good, Kind, and Pure Collection. This is their plant-based vegan line. I'm not vegan, I don't eat plant-based food, but I have found that the consistency of this nail polish is just perfect for my nails. It spreads so evenly and smoothly. Um, I don't get any weird clumps in my nail polish. Um, so I have it in the 140 Almond Tan and uh, as well as the 190 Rose Petal. Now the Almond Tan is literally the perfect nude color for me. I cannot say enough good things about this color i am obsessed even when i'm kind of paler like right now with it being the winter months this is a great color on me and then when i am tan in the summer months it almost has like a pink sheen to it and it just looks so amazing literally i have worn this nail polish probably every other week um since i bought it six months ago and then the rose petal is a little bit more like light, pink, dainty, very pretty, especially with um, Valentine's Day coming up. But it's also just a nice light color. I think that you can literally wear this anywhere. And the best part is like these nail polishes aren't that expensive. Now, when they first came out a couple months ago, they were only like $4 and now they're like $8. So that kind of sucks. But I did find a second bottle of the Almond Tan for sale at Target for $2.99. So just keep your eyes out on sales for these, but I mean, they're such great quality, seriously. Um, last for my beauty item is a perfume, and oh my gosh, if you guys watched my perfume collection from like 2017, you would know that I had this huge perfume collection back in the day, and I found that sometimes I, I don't know, like it was fun to have that much perfume, um, and I liked having the options, but they weren't all perfumes that I particularly loved. And I wanted a scent that's A, gonna be a signature scent for me and that I'm B, absolutely gonna love. So I did a lot of research on like a perfume that I would like. I do know that I prefer like a musky perfume that is a personal preference for me, like an amber musk scent. And um, 
I have found this brand called Erin, A-E-R-I-N. I was first gifted a sample of their honeysuckle scent um, back on one of my deployments from one of my friends. I got the little sample size. I loved it, it smelled so good. Then I found out later that one of my favorite YouTubers, um, Lydia Millen, she highly recommended this scent. I got a sample size of it and was obsessed, but I made this rule for myself that I was not going to buy a new perfume until I was completely out of all my other perfumes. Finally, a couple weeks ago, I finished my last bit of perfume and I allowed myself to buy this perfume and I am so obsessed. It is called Erin. It's called Amber Musk by Erin. And just like, look at this packaging, you guys. Like, you cannot, it is like so decadent. It is a little pricey for a perfume. Um, this is the smaller size, and it was still like $135. Um, but it is, I'm so excited. Like, I have no regrets. Every time I put this perfume on, I just feel like so, oh, like lovely and womanly and strong. Mm, 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 mm. It is like Amber Musk, it has like, Amber scents. It's a little bit muskier. I just I can't stop talking about it guys I don't know the notes so I can't tell you the notes and they're not listed anywhere on the perfume bottle, but it's Seriously smells so good. All right next. We're gonna get into my techie item. So First I got the iPhone 12, which is really exciting. I don't think I mentioned this at all on this channel yet I had the um, iPhone 10 originally and it was a good phone and I liked that phone a lot, but a couple things. One, it was getting really slow and laggy, which was very frustrating for me. And then two, I just really wanted a better camera on my phone. I love taking photos. I do photography on the side, but every once in a while, I don't necessarily feel like hoisting my huge camera around. And sometimes I just want to take a picture on my phone. And the iPhone 10 hadn't gotten the three cameras three camera circle things yet and this one does have it it has the f-stop ability on it um it just takes such better quality pho like photos and that was really important for me um so yeah so i can show you guys a video of like what's on my iphone 12 if you guys want to see that i've only had it for about a week now so it's still pretty new to me i got it in the gold but i'm such a big fan uh, next is the, um, it's a, I believe the brand is Belkin. It's a three in one charger and it charges your iPhone, your AirPods and your Apple watch all at the same time. And I specifically like this brand because the Watts of energy it pushes through is not gonna like blow out the, um, the energy of your phone. I like the ability of being able to go to bed at night and charge all three of my devices in one spot. I don't have all these cords and wires hanging around everywhere. It makes my nightstand look so clean and it's so easily accessible. So, um, and it's all wireless. And so I'm a really big fan of that. Um, next and the last item on my technology list is I also did get the AirPod Pros. I swear guys, I am not like this big techie person, but the last month I've gotten really techie. Um, I originally had the original AirPod um, and they were really good and I liked them a lot and I had no issues with them. But one thing I do really like about the pros is that it does have that noise cancellation feature, which is a game changer. If you are really into music like I am, I love listening to music and I, I mean, I grew up playing different instruments. And so to me, being able to not hear anything else and be able to concentrate on music is just so satisfying. Next up, I just have a couple graphic t-shirts. So I am kind of embarrassed to say that I still, for a while was wearing my sorority shirts from undergrad and there's nothing wrong with that but I have been out of school for about five or six years now so those shirts are that would they're not even from like senior year they're like from sophomore and junior year too so I'm like those are some old shirts so I was like I need to amp up my graphic tee game so I did buy two graphic tees um, from Etsy because I wanted something that I like really liked and thought I was cute I went to Target didn't really like anything so Went over to Etsy and I'm a big fan of Shits Creek and I just found two of the cutest shirts. They're by two different sellers, so I'll link them below. But this one is a gray shirt and it says, Ew, David. Oh my gosh, I love that. I love that so much. Um, and then the other one is like this dusky rose color and it just is a rose apothecary shirt. Oh my gosh, big fan, big fan so much of this. And it's so soft too. So I really like both of these shirts. I just got them in last week, but I find that I've both, I've worn both of them already twice. So that should tell you something. Um, but yeah, so I really liked those. Next on my favorites for this month is what I am reading. And okay, I have finished this first book, which is called Close Up 
by Amanda Quick. Um, this is about a photographer back in the, I want to say it's like the 30s or 20s. Um, it's definitely more of the Hollywood glamour time period. And she's trying to make it into fine art photography, um, but pays her rent by doing like criminal journalism photography. Um, and it's a very interesting story about how she has become targeted by a killer um, and her experience going through that. And it's so good. It's such an easy read. The chapters are pretty short. Um, so you can just like feel like you're flying through it. And and I am a big fan as somebody who does really enjoy photography. I thought this was so interesting. So this next book, I haven't read it, finished reading it yet, but I'm pretty pumped about it. So this is the first Bridgerton book. Oh, if you guys watched my last vlog, you guys saw me reading it. I'm about a third of the way through this book. Um, I have watched the Bridgerton series uh, on Netflix and really loved it, found out that it was a book series and so I, I ordered them and um, yeah, I'm a big fan. The only qualm I have with this book so far is the chapters are like exceptionally long in my opinion and I'm not a fan of that. I feel like sometimes I don't wanna spend like an extended period of time just reading. I like to like take a little break, read a little bit and go back and I just find that I don't do that as much with this book. Um, so it's taking me longer to read it because I have to allocate time to sit down but other than that, it's very well written, it's very easy to read, and I am a big fan of it. All right, so that's it for January favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found something that might be helpful to you. I sincerely love all of these products. They are so amazing, so I hope that they are helpful for you too if you're looking for something new to enjoy. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed to this channel, and give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, because that really helps with my engagement, and I really enjoy talking to all of you, and I comment back to everyone. So. That's it for today's video, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.